What's going on guys? Today, today we start Overland build number two. This one's gonna be for, uh, this is not mine, this is one that I was talking about that we're gonna build for my buddy Kevin. Uh, and the whole process begins today. Kevin's new trailer is going to be really similar to mine. Uh, he's actually going to put the exact same uh, the, the same tent on top, the uh, Smitty Belt Overlander XL. I've been really happy with mine. Uh, there's been a couple little customer service issues uh, I may talk about later or in another video, but overall it's been a great tent so far. Kevin wants to make a couple changes on his that you know to, to suit his taste uh, the the back of his trailer instead of having a horizontal swing uh, tailgate like mine we're gonna do his where it's a vertical swing where it swings up and it's gonna be shaped really really similar to a uh, like a teardrop so the whole back will flip open, has a couple angle cuts we're gonna have to make and stuff like that. But I think it's gonna be a really good design. It's gonna work out pretty well. One mistake that we're not gonna make on his that I made on my trailer is we're not gonna overkill the frame with quarter inch wall uh, tubing, which I just did because that's what the steel yard had in stock. and. I didn't want to wait. I don't have any patience. So we're going to go to the steel yard, a different steel yard actually today, the, the one that's a little bit closer. We're going to go over there today and pick up all the steel for the frame and the sheet metal for the floor. And next thing you know, we're going to be welding, welding and cutting. You know something cool is going to happen when the welder gets turned on. Now the, the trick with the trick with Kevin's build is we've set ourselves a deadline. Uh, we're gonna go on a pretty pretty substantial trip over New Year's Eve. My wife has made me promise that I won't tell tell YouTube and the internet world where we're going until we post the video of going because she wants it to be more of an intimate, you know, family and friends trip. She doesn't want to turn it into a big Jeep stickers festival. So, so I can't tell you guys where we're going yet, but what I can tell you is that we are going to leave on December 30th and it's, it's going to be a cool trip. So this is August, uh, August 6th, I think. So we've got, you know, we got four or five months. I think we'll knock it out. Now, now granted, this is this is something that we have to do. We're not full-time trailer builders. I run my JeepStickers.biz. That's my full-time gig now. Uh, Kevin Kevin works for the state, so you know the the timing is obviously uh, in the evenings, in the weekends, stuff like that. That's when we're going to do uh, do the work on his trailer. Just like I, I still have. I still have stuff I want to do to my trailer before this trip. Uh, on my trailer, I'm going to add, I, I still haven't gotten my water system in. So I'm adding a 30 gallon water tank, the pump, the shower, the hot water heater, all that good stuff. I've still got to do all that to mine too. Uh, Kevin's is going to be real similar. Uh, a lot of the feet, you know, he has the same cooler already that I have. We're going to build the same slide out for the cooler kitchen's going to be really similar all that stuff uh but you know granted we still have to build it so that being said uh i also i'm also still not quite done with the expansion project for my jeep stickers building uh, i've still got some cabinets i'm making i'm you know doing final details uh, my office is set up i'm happy with that got my big bitchin 32 inch monitor I'm, I couldn't be happier about that you know uh, we're getting there things are rolling uh, and the videos we're gonna start 
uh, we're going to start posting the uh, videos of the build as we do it. I'm not going to do one super giant long video. We're going to make little short videos of our progress as we go. Uh, I'm going to try to document it the best that we can so you guys can see just what goes into it, some of the how it how it's built, how some of the parts are, you know, some of this stuff it the parts are going to be a pain in the ass. But that's it comes with the territory. If you're gonna if you're gonna build a trailer and not buy it, you're gonna you're gonna have some stuff you're gonna have to deal with. Um, you know, welding's great, but even the best welding, you're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding, clean it up, uh, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. It's gonna be cool.